latest news, Bangtan TV video log of Rap Monster goes deep. On the most recent video of Bangtan TV's YouTube channel, Rap Monster does a very, very private, public, private, uh, uh, personal? Personal. Personal. He does a vlog and he talks from the heart and he goes so deep, y'all. If you haven't seen it and you're on the fence whether or not you like Rap Monster, you'll watch this, you get the feels, and you can just, ugh. It gives you more feels than it does actual information. I mean, it does talk about his character, or he talks about who his character is in terms of needing to work harder or not feeling fully fulfilled. He's the leader of BTS and he is feeling the responsibility and the pressure. He definitely is, and he talks about in the video the pressure of trying to write a new song. Personally, I think you just take what you wrote, what you said, take that, put it into song format, and it will speak so many feels to so many people. I think for songwriters all over the world, talented songwriters, songwriters who maybe aren't that good, sometimes there are pockets of your life where you're able to just let it out and it comes out easily and flows and something magical happens, whatever your process of writing a song is. And there's other times where those same people who sometimes have those good moments also don't have the ability to easily let it flow out. I think he's feeling that second half of what I just said. Well, that's part of the creative process. Sometimes it flows very easily and sometimes you get kind of in a rut where it's very difficult to go and create, whether you be a writer or a painter or other type of artist, they're all art forms. And sometimes it's just like, you're one with the universe and everything flows out really easily. And then other times it's a real struggle. And he's got a deadline too, because of K-pop, because of everything. They've already announced that BTS is probably making a comeback in September. So that's a very limited time. That's a lot of pressure. And they're also coming off of the pressure of what they just put out with their most recent albums. They've reached such a high level of fame and to follow up on that continually, how do you keep following up on that? How do you keep growing and building and becoming better? You gotta really assess what is the ultimate goal or what is the set of objectives in front of you or what are the objectives that you created before that and are you still continuing to pursue those? These are questions that you and I ask ourselves almost seriously on a daily basis now. What are we trying to do? Because some of what you just said, I feel like you could be talking about you and I running a YouTube channel and you with your art and us with the things that we do behind the scenes. We have deadlines for daily deadlines that we need. For instance, I wanna put this video out at a certain time today, which means once we're done, we're turning the lights off, the camera, and I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna edit it, and we're gonna do all the things we need to do to have it uploaded at a certain time. I'm just sort of relating. I can empathize with the pressure that he feels. I feel, which is why some of the things I said in this video didn't even come out naturally, because I'm like watching him and thinking about what I wanna say about them in order to make sense of this, and then, I just lost my train of thought again. Think about I have to edit this after. It's a crazy dude. I mean, they're at such a higher level than this. This is, I feel like we could shut this down. Nobody would even notice. But like if BTS stopped making music, there's millions of people literally that would freak out. Well, and that's when you need to delve back into what was your mindset when you're just starting out? What is your goal? Is your goal to just be famous and that can't be your goal or if... to make a lot of money like those aren't the goals that they're going for but that's sort of what they're also pursuing you got to have money for instance to keep the electricity on the studio and also but that can't be their goal if they're going to continue and they're going to continue growing because that's not fulfilling it's really really hard you get hit from a lot of angles and life is difficult for all of us things happen to them that are totally unexpected especially now that they did this whole thing in the United States this year. Now they're back in Korea and they're supposedly taking a break. But if you go on YouTube, there's tons of videos every single day. People following them around everywhere. I mean, at least I feel like just sitting in this living room and making videos, we're talking about them, but I, we're not pursuing looking for them at all yet. There was a video of Rap Monster walking by himself or with one other friend in Seoul that I saw. And it's like, Jesus Christ, can this guy fucking get some privacy? He can't. He can't ever have privacy ever again. No wonder he's freaking out. And well, yet when he talks, 
He's so, like he doesn't ever say anything negative. His tone never goes to a point where you feel that he's crossing the line. He has such a good heart. Well, and there is a lot of pressure and the amount of pressure that different artists and people who have any sort of fame are under recently has been catching a lot of attention. I'm glad that he's talking out and he's expressing his feelings about this because there's a lot of people who don't and that's when you end up having people getting in trouble and that's when like for example Justin Bieber just quit his tour early he just canceled the rest of his tour and I'm, I can feel like I could bring this up because they were just in the social media awards together yeah. not too long in the ago. same actual category yes because he needed to because for his own sanity, for his own health, he needed to step away. How would fans react though, for instance, now that they've already announced their comeback in September, if they were to cancel the comeback or say postpone the comeback until next January, could fans hold out between September and January so they could take a four month longer break so they can really get the creative juices flowing again? Fans would not like that at all. They would lose fan. I mean, I know there's people going, Neil never lose me as a fan. But fans would drop off and go to some other group while well, they're taking a break. I mean, this is and the that's reality. Part, that's part of the reality of K-pop right now is you have to continually come back. You continually have to show up and make something and be flashy and catch people's attention because if you don't, then you fall by the wayside. Personally, I felt really bad watching the Rat Monster video. Even though he seems like he can handle it, you can tell there's a lot more that he didn't say if you read between the lines. Comments, you guys, if you saw that. I know a lot of you saw that. You can actually get the translation subbed into English or maybe possibly another language, but a lot of you speak English or can at least read it. Let us know what you think down below. If, if Rat Monster is... Got too much responsibility right now? What are your thoughts? What are your feels about BTS and their current state of they've created all this fame, they've reached this plateau of fame and they're trying to live in the moment, but where do they go from now? Click the like button. Thank you for supporting us. Click the bell for notifications. Check out the link to KGAL and don't forget to subscribe for more Hollywood back news. That's it. We're out of here. Hasta luego. Bye.